Okay, folks, I got a couple of videos here to show you. You have to bear with me. Um, at, when this one gets over with, it's a short one. I'll switch over to the other one. Uh, apparently, in uh, Texas, uh, they left Chicago, the uh, Thin Blue Line motorcycle group um, was out riding, uh, decided to ride through Texas and uh, somebody crossed over the median and crashed into the Thin Blue Line motorcycle gang, gang uh, killing three, um, injuring nine. Um, I'll show you this video and then I'll stop and uh, click over to the next video. Spitting Cobra out here, bringing you the news. A thin blue line, somebody is uh, not liking the thin blue line. He he he. Police department in Niles is mourning two officers killed in a motorcycle crash in Texas. Retired detective Joseph Paglia and community service officer Michael White died yesterday. Another sergeant was injured and is still in the hospital. All three were riding with their thin blue line motorcycle club in Caraville about an hour northwest of San Antonio when an oncoming car crossed over the center line and into the group of riders and all three people were killed. Nine hurt Police say the driver was drunk. Allegedly. Allegedly drunk. Let's get that straight. He was allegedly drunk. Judy, police and the oh. mayor tonight begging All for time right. and public patience to let, let me independent get this one. These declassified uh, documents reveal the extent the FBI views the FISA spy warrant system. Let's skip that ad. This club is a hundred percent full of good people. The thin blue line law enforcement motorcycle club left its camping site in Bandera, Texas on Saturday. Notice he said this group is full of 100% good people. Bullshit. Good morning, led by Joseph Paglia on the first motorcycle. He's the leader of the thin this blue line. This is the last known video of the retired Niles police officer addressing the group. I appreciate everyone coming, but in Chicago, we got to say, you go, we go. The Thin Blue Line Law Enforcement Motorcycle Club raises money for fallen and injured police officers and works to assist their families. They were holding their annual meeting. And this is a real nice area, real hilly, and, and uh, a lot of curves. And a number of people had gone for a scenic motorcycle ride in the winding Texas Hill Country. Well, I'm not so much angry as I am just kind of numb still at this point. David Weed is the group's public information officer. They were struck and killed by the type of person that they have spent their lives protecting the people in their communities from. The group had just gotten back on the road after stopping for lunch in Kerrville near San Antonio. In Can South anybody Central say Texas, karma? When, according to the Kerr County, Texas Sheriff's Office, a suspected drunk driver crossed over the center line and plowed into them. Nine people were critically injured and three were killed. They truly were the best guys you'd ever want to be. They'd give you the shirt off their back, their umbrella if it was raining, uh, you name it, they would help you. The three who died are Paglia, who was a Niles cop and the president of the Chicago Thin Blue Line chapter, Michael White, a Chicagoan and retired Army soldier, and Jerry Harbor from Houston, a retired Army lieutenant colonel. They were hit, hit on by car across the center line. Allegedly. Texas authorities arrested 28 year old on my birthday they died on suspicion of intoxicated manslaughter and intoxicated assault. Weed says the three who died were dedicated to the idea of serving others. That's how you make change is to change everybody around you and try to make the world a better place when you leave and when you got here. Mm -hmm. 
certainly a difficult day for the law enforcement community, especially here in Niles. One of the people who was injured in that accident was also a Niles police sergeant, Joseph Lazo. He is still being treated in a Texas hospital tonight. The group, the motorcycle group, says it is now raising money to assist the families of those killed and injured in the weekend's accident. For more on that, you can go to our website, WGNTV.com. Are you tired of the media spinning the truth and pushing false narratives? Well, take a look at this. All right, folks, that was it, the thin blue line. <clears throat> motorcycle gang, they were out riding around. There's Jack. They were out riding around. Uh, wound up getting hit by a guy allegedly drunk, um, hurting nine people and killing three cops. He's spitting cobra, bringing you the news.